We really never know what this is for. I can't leave until I get Doc's notebook back from Biff. Now that is a dangerous amp. And now something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Biff, I thought I told you not to take my son's guitar. Oh, right. Uh, sure thing, Mr. McFly. Uh, I was just warming him up for you, Marty. Let's see what you got. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. I miss Einstein. Doc must have whipped up some crazy compounds in that cauldron. <laughs> Oh, that smells like beef stew. He's dead. About Biff, Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle him. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son, I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. You want to hear a number by Biff and the Biff Tones? Always happy to play for my adoring fans. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. Rock on, Biff. Oh, shit. Ah, Doc, where are you? Doc? Einstein! Where do you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Marty? Ah! Marty, if you're hearing this 
recording that the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I programmed the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you've come to my rescue in the past. Or oh, was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please take the DeLorean back, or, or forward, to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading marked Last Time Departed. Good luck. Right, right. Last time departed. Last time departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. Come on. Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. What do you know about this, Shuiny? Great Scott! I think he's onto something! Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einie? I guess there's time for a quick game. Okay, now I'm ready. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Why couldn't Doc have invented a dog translator? Einstein, come on! Just as I suspected. Hooligans! Get along now! Scat! Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. A shoe? Wow, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! Sorry, Einstein. Well, took 
take you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Hmm, much better. So neat and orderly. Yeah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. But... I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Uh... Have a seat, Sonny. You kids! Put out those cigarettes! Don't touch those! My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. <laughs> Is that Vice Principal Strickland? Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. What are these? My editorial trophies! Cat Lover's Quarterly? It's legitimate journalism! Einstein brought me that shoe from the past, but when in the past? Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Miss Pretty Whiskers is very particular about who handles her food. Uh, Miss Strickland, about your tea. Uh, you forgot to turn on you! the. You! It's spelled with a U! You illiterate vandal! Man, she keeps it hot in here. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. Juveniles collide with manure truck. <laughs> nice picture. Brown mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall. Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Clint Eastwood plunges to death on runaway train. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Yeah, that's peculiar. The water still hasn't come to a boil. Uh, Miss Strickland, 